Hey meow, welcome back to my channel. I am Miki and today we are doing a first impressions of Bad Habits Aura. I got this palette on the Shop Hush app. I have heard some things that I don't know if Shop Hush is going completely away or if the app is going away or if they're just redoing the whole thing. I don't know. I've been hearing rumors here and there. If you know more about what's going on, please do comment down below and let me know and everybody else know kind of what's going on with Shop Hush. This is my first purchase from Shop Hush ever. I don't have an affiliate code or affiliate link or anything like that. So I bought all of these and I bought all of these because I want to say I bought all of these. I bought nine pounds, but I bought all of these because there was a 50% off on everything on the website plus a lot of these palettes were already reduced by like 30%. So I got nine palettes for about $35. And I just want to try it out. I've heard a lot of stuff good and bad in the past and I just want to try a bunch of their stuff out. I got mostly just bad habit palettes but I did get one face candy palette. And today I am trying the Bad Habit Aura palette and just seeing what my first impressions are. So if you're interested in um, how I got this eye look or you're seeing how this performed, just keep watching. So I'm just going to take my NARS eyeshadow primer and I'm putting that all over my lids. If you guys are having a hard time getting product out of this, um, I took this stopper out because it was just giving me an itty bitty ton of, tiny bit of product, product at a time and it was really frustrating me. So if you're having the same issue, take this stopper out. All right. Here is the palette we're working with today. I'm kind of wondering if Dream State right here isn't going to be too dark to set my eyeshadow primer with. Let's try it. It's a little bit darker um, than my normal color, but I think it. I think it'll be okay. Especially once I start putting everything else on top. If you're paler than I am, it probably won't work well for you. I really wanted to do the Face Candy Amazonia palette, but I don't know if that's going to be back in stock. I looked on the Hush site and it's completely sold out and facecandy.com is no longer like a working website, so I didn't do that one. I think today I wanna go more warm toned, so I'm going to go into Awakening right here and use it as a transition shade. And I'm just taking my fluffy blend, a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna go like right above my crease. Oh, that's looking really nice. Just tapping off the excess before I go onto my eye. I don't want any harsh lines. This is a really pretty color. It's going on there very smoothly. It's blending out quite nicely. I do like this color so far. I don't have the ABH Prism palette, so I can't tell you guys how it compares to that, but this is nice. I've actually never bought an ABH palette. And I'm looking at Riviera, and I'm thinking maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm on a low buy, so it's hard. Okay, I just want to deepen it up just a bit. So I'm going to go into Mystique right there and just try to deepen it up a bit. It looks a lot like Awakening, but we're going to see. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper. And this is a smaller blending brush. This is pretty. I'm liking this so far. These shadows are blending out very well. Let's go into Vibe right here and put that use that with a pencil brush and I'm going to put that in like the outer corner. It's going to place and blend. I've been using a pencil brush for a lot more things these days. Just, I feel like I get more control with it, you know? It's looking a little bit patchy up here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Let's try to even that out. 
My eyelids are not completely symmetrical. We're going to try our best. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that uh, darker, like, orangey shade, the Mystique. And I'm going to blend that out again. Try to blend out where we put that brown. Alright, I'm going to go back in with Awakening again, which was the lighter brown, and this is going to blend it all up. Blend it all up. Okay. Alright, I do like the way that looks. So, I think we are going to deepen it up with Immortal. Right there. Very lightly. I'm just going to put that on the very outer of the V. Just want a little bit of a zhuzh, whatever that means. I can hear my husband downstairs getting the baby. I might need to go get him. All right. Now we're going to focus on the lid and we're going to get just like a lid brush. A normal lid brush. This is from the old Urban Decay. Next I'm going, I'm just going to go into Phenomenon right there and put that in the inner third of my eye. It looks like a big wad of artificial hair in the hallway. Alright, I'll get it. Alright, I don't like how high I got with this, so I'm going to try to blend that. Alright, that's a really pretty color though. I'm going to go right there with that. It's a gorgeous color. Okay, now we need something for our very center lid. I can't decide whether I want to go with like soul right here or I want to go like radiate right there. I think I'm going to do radiate. So I'm going to put some Mac Fix Plus on my favorite lid shade. This is the BX80 by Royal and Lang Nickel. And I'm going to go into Radiate. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I didn't notice too bad of fallout, which is good. I'm going to go under my eyes with um, Awakening right here. With the pencil brush. I just try to smoke that out. I am getting a little bit of dust in my eyes. Sorry about the excess noise. My husband put my son in here. And then I'm gonna go into a vibe right there. And the same brush. Just gonna place it down there. And go back in with Phenomenon, which is beautiful. Loving that shade. And I'm going to put that right under the brow. For that pop. Pop it, pop. I love this shade, you guys. It's really pretty. And I'm also going to put Phenomenon under my eye right there. Okay, and then I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'm going to come back. All right, you guys, here is my finished look right here. I did apply liner and lashes and, of course, did up my whole face. As far as first impressions go, all of the shades that I did end up using, I really did like and I felt like they applied well. I felt like there wasn't too much fallout, although I did anticipate a lot of fallout. I didn't feel like there was too much. I really do want to try to use energy in a look. For you guys, just in case you do purchase this or even the Prism palette, just to see how we can incorporate that shade. I've been kind of thinking, how can I incorporate that shade? That's a difficult shade, I gotta say. I don't know. I think I have a plan that we can execute. And I'll try to do that next time. I'll try to do another look with this palette for you guys, incorporating energy. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much for sticking by me and watching this first impressions. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.